We live in a world of immense diversity of both biology and culture. There have always been interfaces when human populations, domestic animals, and wildlife live in close proximity. But as human populations grow and development pushes further into remote areas in search of resources, the temporal and physical space necessary for the transmission of disease between humans, domestic animals, and wildlife collapses. The emerging field of eco-health is an interdisciplinary effort to examine how ecosystem changes affect the way diseases move through a landscape. Understanding regional ecology and conservation strategies are as important as understanding animal behaviors and how species adapt biologically and socially to disturbances. In addition to introductory lectures and research, students learn directly from some of the academics who write the journal articles we study and discuss. Northern Tanzania is the perfect place to study eco-health because humans have existed here for so long and because disease has played such an integral part of the ecosystem. The Hadza are one of the few groups left in the world still hunting and gathering as their primary livelihood. Students spend time with them searching for tubers, berries, and honey, as well as learning important skills like starting a fire and making and shooting arrows. Our days with the Hadza are punctuated sitting on rock copies overlooking Lake Iasi and having animated discussions comparing cultures, ways of life, and stories of growing up in our respective homes. As we approach the Serengeti Mara ecosystem, we make our way through the Ngorongoro Conservation Area to Loliondo along the northeastern boundary of Serengeti National Park near the Kenyan border. Our hosts in Alolosokwan village herd cows and goats across a complex and changing landscape in search of nutritious seasonal grasses. In this place, rain, commercial trophy hunting, and a new road being built across the region are all factors constantly changing the way that the Maasai here interact with the land. We visit a rural hospital an hour's drive from the village and contrast medical practitioners' perspectives with those of the Maasai in Ololosokwan. From Ngorongoro and Loliondo, land shared by wildlife and pastoralists, we enter Serengeti National Park, home to world-famous wildlife, but also a sore spot for local residents who were evicted in 1959 when the park was created. These spaces are constant and complex reminders of the trade-offs present in the modern world. Trade-offs which reach out into these anthropogenic landscapes where wildlife and humans have lived in dynamic systems for eons.